world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Okay, today we're talking about a knife. A Kershaw knife. Um, sorry I've been a bit late with videos, but I've been a bit under the weather. But hopefully that will be resolved soon. Anyway, so today we're talking about a Kershaw. Uh, what do we see over there? Made in China. What do we see over there? Something about warnings. And here we go. It is the Iridium 2038. Okay, inside the box we get nothing but a plastic bag in which your knife rests. Okay, so let's put that over there. Of course, I took the knife out, although this is a first look. Um, I haven't really played with this knife just like flick 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 that's it okay so here we go this is what the knife looks like this thing is quite marvelous we have aluminum over here um gray silver black the orange over there and i quite like this okay we have a nice pocket clip recessed screws recessed pocket clip and you can switch it around pocket clip pocket clip done right okay and then it's thumb studs with an access dialog Okay, just a second. In my pocket, I still have this thing, the Access Style Lock Hogue Knife. Okay, so last year was the year of the button lock. This year, I have a feeling it's going to be the year of the Access or Crossbar Style Lock Lock. Okay, just quickly look at this knife again. This thing is quite beautiful, but the action on this thing is really really okay yes you can do it like that also but it takes a few tries to get used to it i like the way it sucks in okay you can spidey flick it you can thumb flick it wonderful jumping over here only like three jumps i think and it hooks into your finger it fits your hand fantastically and this flat spot gives you an area to choke up on if you want to do something fine okay i really really love the shape of this knife look at this blade this is like a spear point blade well almost exactly a spear point blade okay yeah almost exactly we have this beautiful swedge over here nice and crisp lines we have flats only over there beautiful and crisp and then not too thick behind the edge. And this thing is quite sharp. Um, let's see. Sorry. Um, we got these things again. Yellow pages. Um, which is like I think the rest of the world's white pages. Now the only reason I like getting these things. Because nobody really uses phone books anymore. Is because phone book paper is extremely thin and very nice to do cut tests on. So you have a knife that can cut phone book paper like this. Okay, this one I've been using quite hard. You'll see videos on that um, because it's magna cut. So I'm trying to see what it's like. Do you see that? It's not as sharp anymore. Okay. It's still very sharp, but like I said, phone book paper is quite tricky to cut with anything less than razor sharp. Okay, let's actually let's leave that there for a size comparison. Okay, so this one is quite a bit bigger than your little Hoag Deca. But I really, really like the size of this thing. Actually, there's nothing not to like about this knife. Um, the materials quite awesome let's just see what this blade is made of because i cannot remember and now i cannot see okay i cannot see um but it will be in the description with all the specs just go check there i think it's d2 i'm pretty sure it's d2 i'm gonna say it's d2 but just check in the description um yes but the action on this thing for a crossbar lock is on par with everything. It's on par with like Hogue. It's on par with um, Benchmade. Actually, 
this feels a bit more crisp than most of them. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm going to say yes, it is. I really love this knife. Okay, this one was about 1,500 Rand, I think. Um, I bought mine from Swartbord EDC and Gear. Yes, I did. I bought this from Swartbord EDC and Gear, but you can also get them from the knife guy now. Okay, but when I bought it, I bought it from there. Um, that was when I was on my Kershaw kick. Um, next video will also be about a Kershaw. Or maybe a Custom. I have a few things I want to show you. Or maybe an old timer. Anyway, there's a few knives that I still need to show you. But, for a first look on this knife, I really, really, really enjoy this knife. And it's got this... Look at it with the colors and the things and the differences in there and whatnot. It kind of gives me that pseudo futuristic vibe, you know, like when you were in the 80s and you saw a car that was supposed to be in the 2000s, a DeLorean, things like that. It kind of gives me that vibe. So I really, really like this knife and I really enjoy it. Okay, so I'm going to play with this thing and see what I can do. Um, like I said, it's weekend. Um, yes, maybe I'll add a video of me brying something from last weekend in here because I was brying last weekend and then last week Sunday all of a sudden, yeah, I started feeling ill and then the whole world fell apart and then for a week I was out of commission, but now I'm back. So maybe I'll add some bry footage in here now. I think so, I don't know. Um, also, I, I'm creating things. I'm a creator now, um, on Teespring, Teespring, yes, yeah, so you guys in America and Europe, guys in South Africa, it's too expensive to buy and ship it here, um, you can do it if you want to, but like I said, I don't know the quality, I haven't seen the things, but go to Teespring, get yourself a cap or a cup or a shirt or a hoodie or a whatever, okay, if you want to, um, if you don't want to, take a screenshot of this and then print it on your printer and stick it on something sticky and then you have stickers. Oh, I also have stickers on there. Anyway, so all of you stay safe, happy, have a good one and have a fantastic weekend. Goodbye. Okay, this is my father's keys. Look at this. And this is a little CRKD. This is still the most awesome CRKD you can find. It's the CRKD Bultong. Okay, and then it's a nice hollow grind. So it's supposedly a bolt-on knife, but this thing works for everything fantastically. G10, I think this is 8 CR13, I cannot remember. Super solid, wonderful little knife. Over here we have an extremely hot fire. We're going to brine now, and we are going to use our Luzon. This thing is huge. I think it's 6 inch blade, if I can remember correctly, but we are going to slice some steaks with this. The first two steaks we have on the fire, they are huge. Let me just show you. In comparison to my bright tongs, I don't know how long that is. That's huge. That's awesome. Okay. I think they are pretty much done. Some of them will come off now. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Pretty awesome. Maybe a bit over, but fantastic. Pause. <laughs>